wake up call. Around 100 complaints have poured into Miami-Dade County after this week's rainstorms. It was a lot of water very quickly and it did really show us um, the areas that are going to be very, very vulnerable. The county says it has made improvements, but the environment has changed faster than the infrastructure. I was afraid, you know, water damage inside the house, you know, my pets, we couldn't walk them. So we were pretty much stuck inside the house. Well, from Monday through pretty much till Wednesday, we couldn't get back in as far as my vehicle. Maria Escandel is one of many residents in Cutler Bay who saw the rainwater stick around for days near her home. We've been here since 2004, not living, but owning. We moved in in 2016 once again, and we've never had it this bad. As Kendall wonders what needs to change, Cutler Bay is part of Commissioner Daniela Cohen Higgins district. We are going to have to pump and reduce our lakes substantially more before we have heavy rainfall coming in, right? And so particularly in the area of Saga Bay and Cutler Bay, that lake that over flooded and completely, you know, flooded the area of Saga Bay would have to be drenched and reduced substantially more than it was prior to this event. And again, our WASDE director, Director Coley, spoke about manholes being lifted. That may have contributed to blocked drains. While there were no reported equipment failures, there are weaknesses in the drainage system. Right now, we are very fragmented in how we manage stormwaters because each one of, their, of those municipalities have to manage their own stormwater. In other words, better coordination with cities and agencies to handle drainage. In the longer term, more funding is needed for maintenance and upgrades. In the area of Cutler Bay, for example, we needed to get transportation because people couldn't exit their homes because if they started their cars, their cars may stall and have uh, serious issues. Of course, it all hinges on getting enough funding, which Higgins says the Biscayne Bay Management Advisory Board that she chairs is working on. Meanwhile, the ground is much more saturated. Every time a car passes by here, they push the water the wakes, the little waves push the water into their side yard and push the water in. For now, residents like Nelson Ramirez hopes the pumps will keep up. In Cutler Bay, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.